Hello, this is Retro Spirits Guide, and this is Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion on Sega's Master System. Although I'm playing it here on a Mega Drive, well, a Mega SG, pass through adapter thing that they give you with a Mega SG. Uh, Disney owns all this shizzle. Once upon a mouse, well, we've got an intro. Oh, it's so happy. Oh, look, he's in love with his missus in v Vera City. Okay. Um, someone's jealous of Minnie's beauty. It's this mofo on the broom right here. I'm going to nab your girlfriend, mate. I'm off. Taken by surprise. I think he could. He chased after the witch. Nice one, Mickey. You are a mouse of action. Look at that. He scaled a mountain. Uh, and he's um, very creepily looking at people through their bedroom windows with a telescope in a parallax scrolling world. Look at that for your master system. Uh, we got some uh, music there, which is very 8-bit and very jaunty. Got the intro starting again. The intro starts pretty quickly onto the title screen. Practice or normal? Let's go for normal. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm no worse. We must find the seven gems of the rainbow. It's a handy... I guess you'd call him Wizard outside the castle, telling me what I need to do. Got a cute little Mickey sprite there. The music is very beepy. So you can jump and you can walk. Three doors to go through. The first door takes me to Forest World, which has the same tune as the Mega Drive game. But the visuals do not look the same. Well, it's 8-bit, isn't it? So, this is the second Master System game I've ever bought. And, at the moment, it's kicking my ass! Um, I'm finding Mickey a little hard to control. He's a bit slidey. He's got some inertia. I'm finding his butt attack a little bit um, inaccurate. Just picked up a rock and threw it there by pressing one of the buttons my Mega Drive joypad. Oh, you can butt bounce multiple items. Uh, those trees have really got places to be, haven't they? They don't fucking hang around. They're like, I'm off to work, mate. I've got, I've got a clock on, otherwise I'm going to get docked some pay. Um, lethal flowers. The tunes are very jaunty. Enjoying it. Um, visually, obviously, like I said, it doesn't really match the Mega Drive game, but it's very pleasant. These these trees, uh, as is a tree's uh, natural way of existing, do really get about quite a bit. They've got a bus to catch, haven't they? I mean, like I said, they've got to get to work. Got to the, got to get down the doll office and sign on! Um, no one is employing trees these days. Right, um, ladder action. Oh, we've got some jerky scrolling when we get down the ladder. Uh, this is quite a bit different to the Mega Drive game, isn't it? We've got a pit there. Hmm. I didn't know I was going to fall to my doom there. Right, I'm getting a little bit more used to the controls. You can uh, use rocks, throw rocks in people's faces like a thug. Uh, well, I say people. I mean trees. Trees are people too uh, in this game. Uh, okay, the game cost me 15 quid and it was a box cartridge with the instruction manual. It was in pretty damn tasty condition. So it's one of the cheaper Master System games I've seen on auction sites. And because I like Mega Drive games so much, I thought... I'll give it a go. So I have the ability to play Master System games on my Mega SG. But that fucking moth is lethal. It just stuck to my face. He was like skull fudging me. Um, the line continues. Okay. Well, this is like my very first time playing this game, so this is all new to me. So let's just continue. The way that gate goes up is quite staccato. All the three doors are locked still. Let's try door two. I'm sure that'll be even harder than door one. 
Um, if you are a veteran of this game, you'll be laughing at my poor skills, I'm sure. I'm sure this game is very easy for people who have played it before. But I'm finding controlling Mickey not... It's not awful, he's just quite slidey. Mm, it's a barrel with a M on it. Okay. Watch out for the planes! Crap on a stick. Mm, not a very good shot there. Uh, it's a little less scrolly than the Mega Drive one, isn't it? Um, it is charming. It's charming so far. I don't know if I'm supposed to go and turn off that radio control device that's controlling those planes. Is this the same music as the Mega Drive? I think all the tunes so far have been the same as the Mega Drive ones. But the uh, level layouts and visuals are not. Ooh, got a flashing star. Give me that, give me that, I want that. That gives me an extra star on my energy bar. Beautiful, that wasn't... That didn't seem like that was worth the effort. Oh shit, what happened there? Uh, don't know. There's a um, cabrolli there uh, to keep the sun off the uh, the blocks and make up this level. Quite beautiful pole there with multiple colours. Doesn't look like you can kill these uh, planes. You can only stun them, and they're back again. So the enemies respawn. Okay. The Mickey sprite is very cute. I will give them that. Right, we've got a creepy clown here. He's throwing balls at me. Fuck off, you! Um, excuse my French. I believe that was French. And he's back again. So it's not even... You just scroll off the screen in the back. Uh, I think I've got to jump on these clowns, but... Um, yeah, he's not doing it. So... That wasn't the solution. And getting hit by a ball in the balls wasn't the solution either. It's quite militaristic, this soundtrack. Oh shit. Down the hole he went. Forgot to duck. Well, it's fairly colourful, isn't it? It's jaunty. If I was going to use one word to describe this game, to a prospective buyer, it will be jaunty. This game is jaunty. It's still, it's still killing with the ball. I think this bucket, I think I can stand on that bucket, can't I? So that's how I'm going to get on this cloud. Oh yeah. I'm not, I'm not in Mensa, but yes, I can solve simple arcade game puzzles eventually um oh is that just gonna keep respawning it's uh, a bit boring i don't like that probably gonna need that m barrel that's kind of bounce that ball and make it blow up no jesus christ right get rid of that one get rid of some of the balls who's left their balls here Right, throw it on him. Nope, didn't need to. Can just jump over his head. Ha! How do you like me now? Yes, stupid chess nonce. Oh, we've got another... Uh, we've got a switch. Okay, the switch did something. So I heard it. Oh, it made that green bar disappear. When Mickey climbs a ladder, he has a special sound effect. Which is very strange. This looks like it could be death for Mickey. Okay, the barrel stops the buzzle, bubbles, the buzzles. He said the buzzles there, which is a cross between buzzards and bubbles. Imagine that. Imagine a buzzard and a bubble coming at you silently when it wants to eat your face. Um, in the Mega Drive game, this was like Toy Town. Here. It's kind of like um, it's a bit of a cross between like a shop and toys. What the hell is going on here? A man doing star jumps. And he's so heavy he makes 
uh, the s stars fall from the sky. Wow, it's a very barren Munchausen, isn't it? Uh, oh good, I didn't start from the beginning of the level again. There's a checkpoint. Thank fudge for that. Hmm. Yeah, Mega Master System games and Mega Drive games on auction sites these days. Surprisingly expensive, especially Master System games considering... Um, I suppose it's a nostalgia thing, but um, there's very, a lot of very low quality Master System in terms of condition games on eBay, and they're all ridiculously amounts uh, overpriced for just uh, amounts of money. Like, um, what was I looking at the other day? I was looking at, I think it might have been, yes, it was Wonder Boy, like the original Wonder Boy, and it was like 40 quid for a Master System cartridge. Unbelievable. Anyway, Mickey here. He is a cheap son of a gun. Yeah, you can have Mickey for about 10 quid if you don't want the instructions. What the hell? Oh, I've fallen through the floor. Was that a glitch or was that a trap? It's difficult to know. I've just killed a um, small brown rodent. It's my kill my rodent -y brother. Rodents should unite. We should unite against the tyranny of the chess pieces. Oh, I've fallen down the hole again. What is that thing? Oh, it's a monkey. It's a monkey with symbols. Because it's drawn using very few pixels, um, it's difficult to tell what some of this stuff is. Especially with uh, my lack of glasses that I'm not wearing at the moment. Oh, he's fallen down. It's freaking squares again, so it's not a glitch. It's a gameplay feature. So, some of the environment in this game has no collision on it. It's like a trap. They got me. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. So it's these two blocks here. Yeah, I'm wise to you, mother fudger. Right. Down the ladder with the weird sound effect. Oh. Kill the monkey? No, he's just not going to die. He's an invincible monkey. Who hits symbol so loud it causes a sonic boom which hurts you. Oh. Knocked down a hole by a genie. Bummer. Well, that was my first go. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the video and show my second go. Uh, because I do a bit better on my second go. Uh, I'm, I get used to the controls and the cut of the game's jib. So there we go, I completed two levels. Let's get on the third one. Bosh! Here we go, Ice Cream Town. And this one's an auto scrobbler. Oh man, we have got Little poos, you have to avoid the little poos on the platforms. Uh, the world is made out of blocks of choco. Late. Uh, I don't know why I put a pause in the middle of that word, but uh, I did, so let's just deal with it. Look at the ice cream. Oh, I think uh, the, the beige thing in the background is supposed to be like a wafer. What the purple is, I don't know. The brown squares are chocolate. I'm presuming these are supposed to be chocolate drops and not poop. Because um, having poop in a sweet factory is unsanitary. Let's pick up this uh, thing and love it. Lovely. Get some coin. don't know what the coins do in this game. Uh, this is a PAL version of this game as well. Uh, so I do have a PAL instruction book. I could read it, but you know what it's like. I um, just want to get on with stuff, don't you? I don't know. I don't buy games to read instruction books. What, are you crazy? I'm riding a floating cupcake in a sky full of caramel wafers. I don't need to need an read an instruction book for that. It's my natural freaking habitat. But bounce on the turds. Um, one thing I'm not sure about in this game is what holes are safe to fall down and what. Uh, which holes aren't, because it's um, sometimes it requires you to do so, sometimes it doesn't. Look at that donut, it's got like two, three, four frames of animation. Beautiful. Throw the cupcakes. Oh look, there's a trapped cake. Oh, won't somebody free the cakes? Oh, from the water. Oh, that's cool. Water wasn't instant death. I can swim in the water. 
Um, yeah, I like this game. I like this game a lot. Uh, it's very different to the Mega Drive game, but it is cool. And the fact that the music's called Bleepy isn't annoying me yet, but it might do eventually. It might send me psychotic. That's lollipops there. A bit of cake. Oh, who doesn't like cake? Um, or chocolate drops. Oh, we've got a chocolate drop dispenser. Or is it the anus of some ceiling mounted beast and it's pooing on your head? No, it's chocolate drops. Shut up. Right, well, that's Mickey, Castle of Illusion. And it's pretty damn groovy. Yeah, I like it. Any game that features Don't Let Someone to Chase You is a winner in my eyes. Let's get up this ladder. Beautiful. No? Fuck the ladder. Let's go this way. Why, why did I do that? Don't know. It was instinct. It was just instinct driving me this way. I don't know what those things are supposed to be. Maybe peanuts? Physics, donut physics. Oh, we got physics on our donuts. Hmm, I'll have to see what coins do. Oh, we might read the instructions at some point. There's another trap cake. This time it's a chocolate one. Right, this is a boss. I have no idea what I'm doing here. This will be the first time I've faced this boss. And he is. Well, he's got multiple personalities or pieces. He's got one powerful arm, which he uses to punch the whole environment into pieces. Hmm, that looks difficult. Okay, well that boss looks hard. Uh, like I was saying, I was in, I'm enjoying this game. Uh, for 15 quid, I think I'll get 15 quid's worth of fun out of it. I don't think it's going to be too hard, although this boss does seem to have ramped the difficulty up quite a bit. I've got no idea what I'm supposed to do here to combat this well miffed looking chocolate bar mm, throwing blocks at him no effect oh poor Mickey well that's Mickey Mouse uh, Castle of Illusion on the Master System yeah, it's pretty nice and that's my first look at it okay ta -ra.